She drove like a drug addict. Can you just stop us? Really? He's high beaming and beeping the whole way up. So are you telling me, um, Kari, you go back to where you came from? No, you, you called me a slut first, you idiot. Senior Constable Kirsty Sawley is checking for speeders, but she can hear something going on nearby. Ah, oh, that's where it is. Might go and have a look at that. Probably try and pull both of them over. But the two cars have already pulled over, not just because of Kirsty. The respective drivers want to have a go at each other. What's going on? Did you see that she, where she was driving? Just watch how you're talking to me, thanks. No, I didn't. Tell me what's she going on. She was following on. me mm -hmm. and or doing all zigzags, 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 yep. abusing me, and she right. was abusing me. Okay, right. Curry, bloody curry, bloody curry. Well, she just, all right. That's so she pulled up next to you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Can, can, you not, can you just lower your voice, things? Yeah. yeah. All right, hang on two seconds, I'll get my notebook and I'll grab everyone's details. The other participant in this argument is getting a little overheated. Up. Hang on, I'll be back. Kirsty moves her patrol car forward to block the other driver's exit. I think she's out of her mind. Hey, what's going on back there? He was going so slow, so I went into the other lane, yep. and then he's cut me off. Right. And then coming up here, he's screaming out, you slut, you bitch. Mm. While Kirsty takes down the woman's details, the situation escalates. She she drove like a uh, drug addict. Can you just stop us? Really? Do you mind? Be, 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 go back to where you came from. From Springvale Road. That's right. Yeah, no, you telling me, um, Kari, you go back to where you came from. Did you know you I was Australian a slut. myself? You call me a slut well, and you a bitch. Me a curry no, you called me a slut first, you idiot. Piss off. I'm from here, my dad's Aussie stick. I don't care. He's gone really slow around the corner and there's cameras there. So, and it's gone red. I'm still stuck there in the middle. I'm Australian. That's enough. Okay, just be the bigger man and let it go, all right? Yeah, that's what I was doing anyway. I was just trying to stop the car, so I just get out. But she, then she stopped here. Obviously, she had no reason to stop here. She want, she wanted a game with a man, which I, I don't know. She's probably hyperactive. That's all I can think of. So I come over to here, and he's gone in front of me. So I come back over. He comes back over again, and then so I drive off, and he's high beaming wow. and beeping the whole way up. So I slammed yeah, on my brakes. Slammed on my brakes. I stopped down. Were you driving? Yeah. Right. I've got to give you both said, a breath oh, test. Yeah. Just Probably sure. she's on drugs. Big breath out. Oh. That's it. Because what? I have a breather first. <laughs> Big breath out. Yeah, unfortunately, that's it. Because no one else has seen it. I can't prove who's telling me the correct story, so. Oh, if only I got the other cars. If either driver had been drinking tonight, the results could have been more spectacular. All right, so when you're ready, if you want to hop off and drive away, because I'm not leaving you two here parked no, together. No, I'll go. Yep. I want to get away from him. All the right, irate female on? driver is on her way, leaving Kirsty to dismiss the irate male driver. And then she honed at me, so I obviously honed at her as well. Yep. And then she was doing zigzags all the way. Okay. Stopping in the middle of the road, so I would Maybe. come and knock at her. Yeah. Obviously, she could put me in trouble. Mm. I mean, then she stopped the car here and there, calling me curry, uh, we'll go back to where you came from. I'm an Australian citizen. Yeah. How can she say that? I don't think she's Australian herself. So that's where we'll leave it tonight. All right. You Wait until you settle down and drive off and hopefully won't happen. No, we just off to the pharmacy anyway. Okay. No <laughs> worries. See ya. See ya. See ya. Hello, random breakfast. Please wait a ten stop. Senior Constable Christine Bosley is conducting routine breath alcohol tests on a quiet stretch of rural road. Random breath test. Please wait a ten stop. 
Stop. You're fine, thank you. Who owns the truck? I'm the boss. Oh, is it his? Yeah. Rego's expired. Okay. It's, right. well, it's not okay, really. Oh, no, it's not okay. Have you got your licence there for me? Thank you. State your name for me. But while Hoppo's oh. licence is checked out, there's more for Christine to be concerned about on the vehicle's the trailer. Tires, the tyres bad too. Uh, two tyres on the trailer. While Senior Constable Kate Fisher checks the trailer's registration, Christine is about to discover there's more to this truck than meets the eye. The driver Hoppo's four mates. This hop out driver and wanted to show the tyres. That one? Yeah. Can you see it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I have to put in a licence review because you can't see and you can't drive? No, no, I'm fine. Oh, OK. Can you see how unroad where that one is as well? Well, we're writing a defect up for that as well, so he has to clear it. Yeah, no worries. Unfortunately for Hoppo, the boss isn't answering. Mine. Worse, his mates are getting bored. Hopefully it will come down. <laughs> you can't do that. Can't do that. It's a family show. Take it, take it. <laughs> There's one in every crowd. Oh, see. Oh. <laughs> You're crazy. Go away from there. I'm absolutely speechless. Why do I always bring out the worst in the young fellas? The tyres could turn out to be a minor issue, but until the registration can be resolved by Hoppo's boss, this party of young workers will be staying put. All jokes aside, we have a bit of fun with the fellas, but there's five people in that car, and unfortunately, with no registration, there's no TAC insurance, and if they had an accident, um, they wouldn't be covered, which is quite serious. It's the boss's responsibility to make sure that it is covered, but um, unfortunately, the driver copped a $597 fine today. Yeah, we'll Finally, Hoppo gets a result. One step closer, oh, hey, Rob's, Rob's, Rob's calling me now. I'll call you back in a minute. All right, thank you. Rob! <laughs> no, I bet you're coming. After yeah, paying the outstanding the registration by credit card over the phone, Hoppo's boss to? quotes the receipt number back to Christine and the boys can leave after one more bit of paperwork. Right, young Andrew, there's your licence back. Thank you. $597. <clears throat> oh, me? Mm. Really? Because you're the driver. Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, you have to ask your boss to see whether he will pay it for you, which he should. The trailer. There's no roadworthy required, however, he does need to get it cleared. Yeah. Because if he doesn't clear it, then it will become unregistered yeah. as well, and then he'll face another unregistered ticket. Yeah, we won't be happy about that. No. Alrighty, guys. Catch you later. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.